In this video, we will look into the electric motor voltage equation. This is a lecture 3 in the series of electric motor. Also, we will look into the condition for maximum power output of an electric motor. In the previous lectures, or at, at the lecture 1, we have seen that if a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, it is will experience a force causing the rotation or motion of the conductor and the direction of the motion was given by Fleming's left hand rule. At the lecture 2 we seen that whenever the conductor rotates, the armature conductor will also or the conductor will also cut the flux and according to the generator principle an EMF will be induced in the conductor. This EMF was called back EMF and the back EMF will be always opposite to the supply voltage and the armature current is given by supply voltage minus back EMF divided by armature resistance. So in a way the back EMF helped to regulate the armature torque and current. So this we will we'll derive the voltage equation of an electric motor so this is a simple basic circuit of an electric motor there is a supply voltage and the shunt field shown here is a field winding this is a shunt wound motor there is a field winding is shown as a shunt field and it will draw ish current and ih current will be drawn by the armature and ed back emf will be produced let's start to derive the voltage equation from the previous diagram, the supply voltage can be written as back EMF plus IARA. That's by applying Kirchhoff's laws. If you multiply both sides by IA, you will get VIA equal to EB plus IA plus IA square RA. So VIA here is a power input to the armature. That is a power input from the supply side. And IA is a current drawn by the armature. EBIA, that is a back EMF into armature current, is the electrical equivalent of the mechanical power developed by the armature. That is the mechanical output of the motor, equivalent form written as in the electrical form. IA square RA is a CU loss or the copper loss happening in the armature windings of the motor. So this equation can be generalized as power input to the motor is equal to power developed by the motor armature that is a mechanical power developed by the armature plus the power wasted in the armature as I square R or CU losses. So the power developed by the motor is EB back EMF into IA and the power lost by the motor is equal to I A square into RA that is the armature current square into resistance of the armature. The shunt field winding current is very negligible and it can be neglected in this case. Now next we will derive the maximum power output of an electrical motor. So taking the previous equation the VIA that is the power input to the armature can be written as EBIA that is a mechanical power developed by the armature in electrical equivalent form plus IA square R the CU losses. Now reshuffling the equation taking EBIA to the other side we will get EBIA equal to VIA minus IA square RA. So EBIA that is the back EMF into armature current can be written as mechanical power PM that is equal to VIA minus IA square RA. So this is the equation of the maximum power derivation we get the second equation now again you can derive derive differentiate the previous equation to ia differentiating pm that is a power equivalent of the motor to ia you will get v minus 2 ia equal to 0 and equating that equation to 0 after differentiating you will get ia r equal to v by 2 so ia r equal to v by 2 when you put this equation in the equation of the voltage equation of the motor we will see what will happen in the next slide so putting that equation we will get EB equal to V by 2 that is the maximum power developed in a motor when the back EMF is equal to half of supply voltage 
in an ideal condition it is not possible because when the back emf will be become very equal to half of supply voltage the motor current will be very high and so the ideal efficiency of a motor is close to 50% or it's always below 50% that's all if you like this video please do subscribe like and comment